Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 36. So we're continuing our training today on our reports applet, and we're gonna dive into some reporting on our opportunities, goal setting, and more database reports as well. So let's click on that reports applet. It's our bar graph here on the left-hand side. And we're gonna choose the second tab. We introduced the dashboard yesterday. So we're gonna come into reports and show you, first of all, this is an important note to take note of. So the information that's coming from the opportunities applet, right, is updating this opportunities report. It doesn't always update instantly. So it may take some time to display properly. So just a heads up, so if you make changes to your opportunities, it's not an instant update. So just let it have a little bit of time to update this app and maybe as much as 24 hours. You can see when this data was last captured. So this was literally right now that it was captured. Um, but sometimes this may be if I'm later on in the day and I can see, hey, it got captured this morning. It may take a little bit of time to update. I'm gonna go ahead and close out that note and show you here at the top, this is a dropdown. So this opportunities report uh, there are three different reports that you can choose from inside of this reports tab which includes both database goals and then your opportunities on the opportunities report you're going to see a breakdown of your listing opportunities and your buy side opportunities it's going to tell you how many total opportunities you have how many new opportunities you have and then the financials associated with each one of those so your potential income probable income and commissions as well It'll also show you how long those opportunities have existed on average inside of each one of the phases in your pipeline, and then the volume associated with each one of your phases. You can see right now, we only have one buyer opportunity. It's showing under contract for zero days because basically we put it in there and I believe I archived it the same day. So that's why we've got zero time here. But if you've been building out opportunities in your pipeline, these numbers are probably going to be much more robust. Obviously, this is our demo account, so we don't actually have any real opportunities in here. So you can see why they are all kind of grayed out, if you will. Uh, but we do have contacts, so we can go into the database report and take a look. You can see we've got 14 database records. Those are all of our fake fictional character contacts. It'll show you what your database health score is overall. How many of those contacts are new contacts? How many contacts you have in total then do you have any leads coming into your system you can also transition from year to date to month to date so we can see we've only put in four new contacts this month whereas year to date we've put in 14. you can also track things like your activities your lead sources and then information about your leads as well again each one of these is changeable so we can change it to contacts you can see in our contacts I use this account often, so it says 352. Those are contacts that have also included archived or deleted contacts. And then with our new, how many of them have a phone number, email, address, neighborhood, home anniversary, or birthday? Lead sources, you can see lead by source or lead by city. You can also go back to this month, last month, last week, this year. There's a lot of different filters here inside of your activities, leads, and contacts all within your database report. Finally, we've got the goals report. This will make more sense tomorrow when we dive into the goals tab and show you how to actually set these goals and what these numbers actually represent. But this is basically just an overview of what we're gonna to do tomorrow and actually setting our profit goal and then determining based upon that profit goal what our cost of sales and operating expenses might be, which would then determine how much gross commission we need to create in order to hit that profit goal. It then actually breaks down what we need to do in order to hit those goals, what we've done so far, and then what our percentage to goal is. And then on the right-hand side, these are your data points. So basically we're gonna put these in tomorrow, but they're your conversion rate data points so how many leads will you convert into a contact how many contacts will you convert into appointment set and so on and so forth so we'll walk through that process tomorrow when we get into the goals tab uh, similar to the database all three of these are available for year to date 
or month to date. So you can see that on our conversion ratio and our goals progress as well. Those are the three different tabs. So you got your opportunities, your goals, your database. It's also important to note that this is an exportable applet. So you can come in here and export sort of what your goals look like. If we change that to database, we can go into the database report and then that's also exportable. So if we just want to have kind of an idea of how we're doing on all of our contacts and our conversions and activities, etc. And then finally, we can do the same thing with opportunities. That's also exportable. Not a lot of information on our opportunities here, you can see, um, but at least we know that all three of those reports are exportable into, and you can see either PDF format or CSV format as well. That's it for today, guys. The reports tab underneath the reports applet inside of command, a more detailed and uh, you know granular look at your opportunities, your database, and your goals. Join me tomorrow when we jump onto the goals tab and we dive into setting 2023 and potentially even our 2024 goals for our business. As always, hope everyone's having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.